where Ruth and I leave you. Ain't you going to San Antonio with us? Nope. We're riding to Fort Dobie. I've been made a lieutenant in the United States Cavalry. What are they going to make out of you, Ruth? They made me plumb sick. Talking about Texas being better off without us Rangers and giving our jobs to the United States Cavalry. What are you going for, then? Keep them ten soldiers out of trouble. I'm going to be a scout. Uh, uh, oh, shit! Well, so long, fellas. Well, hey, wait a minute. We've been discharged from the Rangers. Why can't we be cavalry? Well, why not? What do you say, man? Why why you About the golden west, but here is a song every cowboy sings. It's the one they all love best. When the sun's in the west and the cattle. the sunset trail where a pal is the best and by friends we're surrounded we'll rest on the sunset trail so things may what's the matter don't you like music lieutenant cameron sometimes until we cross the veil When the sun's in the west And the last call is sounded We'll rest on the sunset trail Lieutenant? Very much. 
with Miss Summerall. She's an excellent dancer. And I'm looking forward to a very pleasant evening. Hmm. Black horses beat white horses. You're full of loco weed, Indian. Little wolf, no. You do, eh? Come here. Bet his scalp again a pair of moccasins that he beats the black horses. Me take him back. Well, hey, what I get out of this? You get to keep your hair if you win. Is troop A ready? Ready, sir. Troop B. Ready, sir. Get set. Him lose. Little wolf get him scalp. Too jealous. Or two. Two would make me jealous. <laughs> Who won? Well, good for you. You can run even if you can't ride. Hi there, Proffer. Kind of late for 
for shindig, ain't you? Where's the colonel? Over there. What's it? Engine. Sorry to bust in on you, Colonel, but engine just stole some of my horses. Must be one of Tavibo's renegade band. Anybody hurt? Yes, sir. Two engines. That's the way you Texans keep them on the warpath. Now, the policy of the government is to avoid hostilities. But I'll give them, madam, my immediate attention. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Cameron! Lieutenant Cameron, a band of Indians stole some of that man's stock. You will take Scout Jones here and a squad of your men and bring them to the post for counsel. Pardon me, sir. May I suggest, sir, that uh, Lieutenant Autry and some of his men go along also? Being acquainted with the country, they would help considerably. Uh, Scout Jones is very confident, sir, and I'm afraid that we couldn't be much help. On the contrary, I think Lieutenant Cameron's point is very well taken. Lieutenant Autry will take some of his men and accompany him. Very good, sir. Did you say you were going to a dance tonight? Nice work, Cameron. Thanks. But Colonel Summerall deserves all the credit. Well, boys, we're heading into the Peace River country now. My plan is to spread out and surprise the Indians. Surprise them? With this tin outfit, <laughs> we couldn't make more noise with the regimental band. We are only carrying regulation equipment. I have no authority to discard it. Long night. Hunt stolen horses. I give signal. Surround. We will be ready, no people. The engine. Halt! Comanches, but they're making peace signs. They want a powwow, but I think it's a war party. What makes you think so? War paint. War paint is hard to reason to mistrust their peace sign. Besides, there's only three of them. Lieutenant, when you see engines, be careful. And when you don't see engines, be more careful. Tell them to advance and we'll hold a council with them. You're walking into a trap. That's my responsibility, Audrey. Sure, but we're with you. Remember, men, no firing unless I give the order. Soldier, too quick. Shoot. Bad medicine. No fight today. What? You ride right behind me, Davis. We'll need your horse for the wounded buck. hit by a stray bullet. He's dead. Soldier know the signal? Soldier know many things. One time ranger. But for him, our belt would be heavy with the scouts with long knife. Tavibo will not forget Ranger. And in the ensuing exchange of shots, 
Trooper John Davis was killed. Now, according to this report, Lieutenant Autry, you opened fire against the strict orders of your senior, Lieutenant Cameron. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you, Scout Jones, did you fire? I always fires, Colonel, when I see the Indians. That's why I stay so healthy. What have you to say for yourself, Lieutenant Autry? I'm positive the Indians were trying to draw us into ambush. I only shot to prevent the one with the mirror from giving the signal. Did anybody see the Indians in ambush? No, sir. Didn't have to see them, Colonel. Indians don't carry mirrors to see how pretty they are. Bring in Duval, the interpreter, and the Indian prisoner. Yes, sir. You sent for me, Colonel? Ask him his name and what their purpose was in stopping my men. What's that? He says his name is Bobtail Horse. But he and two other Indians had just killed a buffalo and they wanted to trade some meat for sugar and coffee with these fellows. Apple sad. Indians don't go out hunting buffalo in war paint. Scout Jones apparently isn't well acquainted with Comanches, Colonel. Is that so? There ain't no kind of Indians I don't know about. Well, I've known Bobtail Horse a long time. He's a good Indian. There ain't no such thing. Well, if he's a good Indian, maybe he'll tell us who's supplying to Debo and his men with cavalry rifles and ammunition. We have no proof of that, Lieutenant Autry. Well, someone is. I'm not interested in your groundless suspicions, Lieutenant. Tell him he may go. What's this? Lieutenant Autry, I find you guilty of seriously jeopardizing our treaty negotiations with the Indians, of rank disobedience to orders, and of being a direct cause of the death of Trooper John Davis. I cite you for general court-martial and guarantee that you will be reduced to the rank of Trooper. As for you, Scout Jones, I fine you one month's pay. That's okay, Colonel. I don't need the five dollars anyhow. <clears throat> You know, I personally think that Autry's suspicions are unfounded. But you keep your eyes and ears open, Duval, and see if anyone is selling arms and ammunition to the Indians. I'll do that, Colonel. And because of the large wagon train of settlers and supplies due during the month, I think it would be advisable to sign the peace treaty with the Indians as quickly as possible. And thus we'll assure the safe arrival of the wagon train. I'll speak to the chiefs, Colonel, and arrange a meeting. Good. Suspicious. <clears throat> There's something mighty queer about that Duval, Kyle. Yeah, he did seem glad when the Colonel let Bobtail Horse go. I don't know Comanches. Well, dang his hide, I cut my teeth on a Comanche Tommy Hall. I just saw Bobtail Horse going into Cantina. That's Duval's place, isn't it? Yeah. Round up some of the boys. You going to grab him? Now that we're going to take a look around. Listen closely to Tavibo. In the next moon, many wagons come to port carrying guns and supplies. White Colonel wants to sign treaty with India. You tell Chief, Tavibo says we must sign. Then Colonel's eyes will be closed and he will leave the wagons for the guard. About tail horse in the stand. Tavibo wise. Wait. Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Go 
I'll give you the hog, dog, and farmer. The old sow gets over in the cornfield, and the old man takes the dog and drives her out. You can hear all three of them. Now you both understand. on here. These two men got in a fight over this girl. I'll have to place you under arrest, Osby. Come on. Well, what happened? Boys, the colonel just asked me for my resignation. You mean they're kicking you out just for fighting in the cantina? That's right. Well, I just joined on account of you. I'm quitting. Come on, now, now, wait a minute, boys. You can't quit like that. You've got to wait until your enlistment expires. Think so? Come on, fella. Uh, Fiddles on a dirty card case. He's eating them cards. Look at him. Hold about half of them, Frog. Mm. <coughs> oh, gosh, that does. It must have been a spade. Mm, that and pickle must have been the joker. Mm. They tell me that frogs are hard to digest, but I'm not ready to digest yet. Oh, gosh, you feel sick. Mm. Oh, mm, so cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
Colonel says the court martial was too easy on you boys. You've been a disgrace to the cavalry. Here's your discharges. He says, turn in your uniform. It's too. You're a fine bunch of renegades. We feel as terrible about it as you do, but there's no use crying over spilled whiskey. Well, I can't think of anything to do around here. I wonder if you'd mind if we ride along with you. Well, I guess we can't stop you. In fact, I'm darn glad to have you. Well, boys, saddle up your horses and get ready for a long ride. I'll be back in a few minutes, and we're riding to the state capitol. <laughs> I was only carrying out your father's orders. Personally, I like Austrian. Was he really fighting over a dance hall girl? Well, he didn't deny it. What makes you so interested in Austrian? I thought that we... Bob, please. I have a headache. Will you excuse me? Certainly. I hope you feel better tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. Intentionally to allay suspicion? 
Yes, sir, I do. What do you think, Major Crosby? I'd say it's good reasoning. And you don't feel that the cavalry could handle the situation? They could if they would. But Washington has given strict orders not to be antagonistic. Your hands are tied. Naturally, I hesitate to interfere in government business. But the security of the people must be safeguarded. Major Crosby, I authorize you to reorganize the Texas Rangers immediately, enlisting enough men to combat any situation that may arise. Yes, sir. Mr. Rotary, you will retain your old commission as lieutenant. And I want to thank both you gentlemen for your interest and concern. Thank you, Governor. Good day, Major. Good day, sir. And she needs you, everyone. Ride, Ranger, ride. Ride, Ranger, ride. You have conquered every foe since a hundred years ago. Ride, Ranger, ride. supply train first. Tell them the colonel sent you. That the Indians are waiting for them at Buffalo Wells and to come through Coyote Pass instead. Well, so the Rangers have a prisoner already, have they? No, just a couple of Indians. Why? You'll never be able to keep them in that old jail. Why not? Why, the bars are loose on their back window. Didn't you know that? No. <laughs> Turn those men over to me at once. I'll order my men to fire upon you. 
We're with you, Gene. You can start shooting whenever you're ready. Lieutenant, prepare to fire. Prepare to load. Can you imagine going around with your gun empty? Load. All right, Colonel. You win. You can't afford to kill the men we're going to need. Lieutenant, return carbines. Return carbines. All right, Ruth. Come on with me. What are you going to do with it? 
Never mind that. Just saddle our horses and trot them by out here in front of the guardhouse. Horses? Yeah, horses. Them things you fall off of. Yeah, but Jane, don't worry about that. Just get out of here. Hey! Hey, let me out of here. We don't want nothing except being left alone. You'll be alone a long time after tomorrow. Where's that other plate? What plate? Got the hungry and must add it. You don't get any stew till you find that other plate. Idea. Why, I was just wondering what time it is. What do you care? You ain't going no place. That was a close one. I say it was. There comes strong. Get ready, boys. Ride to Buffalo Wells and tell Major Crossy to get to the supply train at Coyote Pass as quick as he can. We'll meet you there. Say, I almost forgot something. You know, Dixie told me to tell you that she didn't think you was no murderer. <laughs> she did, huh? Yeah, and she said she would have come to see you herself, only the Colonel wouldn't let her. Right? Say, this ain't no time for lollygagging. Get going. What are we waiting on? The cavalry. Are you loco? It ain't gonna be healthy for us if he catches up with us. Well, it isn't gonna be healthy for that supply train if we don't have a convoy. And we're leading them there? That's right. But what's gonna happen if the Indians don't attack? Yeah, but they will. No fear.
wagon train. We may be shot without any sentence. Get their breath, Colonel. They'll be back. I'm afraid we can't withstand another attack. Maybe we won't have to if the Rangers get here. Rangers? Yep. The frog went to get them, and if he didn't fall off his horse, they'll be here pretty soon, too. Hey, look, Colonel. The Rangers. You got it, or they come. A new gun that treaty a hold now. Well, Colonel, I'm glad to see you've still got your hair. Major, I want to apologize for the way I've acted. 
Texas does need the Rangers. And I want to apologize for my attitude, Colonel. Texas needs the cavalry, too. Dang, if you ain't both right. Together, they ain't nothing. We can't take care of. Shaved this morning. Ranger, 